Are you feeling broken, depressed, having an artist block, or just demotivated for no reason? So here's how you can take your negativity and turn it into artwork that can help you heal. Hi everyone, my name is Hayes. I'm an artist and speed painter from Malaysia. Sometimes it just feels like we are all just made of broken pieces. We try to glue ourselves together but it's never quite the same. But that doesn't mean that we can't create something beautiful in this world even when you're feeling so broken and depressed. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to turn your broken pieces into artwork that is emotional, powerful, impactful and healing. When creating art is your job and you are depressed but you still got to work so this can actually create an environment where you feel like it's really 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 impossible to work there are days where i just feel like doing nothing but sleep all day because i'm so heavy with burdens and depression but do you know that artists and suffering goes hand in hand and is an extremely lucrative combination I truly believe that Wang Go's insanity was a direct byproduct of developing his style. But why are artists so plagued by depression, madness, and poverty? So let me answer this question from my perspective as an artist. So my first objective as an artist is to create something beautiful. So this means that I have to be super sensitive to everything that's ugly, the disproportionate stuff, and to be able to tell wrong colors from right colors, good shapes from bad shapes. So by having this ability and power, I was able to right the wrong. But this is also a curse because not only I see negativity in everything around me, from movies to posters to my friends' birthday cards, I see negativity in everything I create. So everything looks like shit and it looks like everything is waiting to be fixed. So this will start a cycle of fixing and fixing and somewhere in the journey, an artist has to start being specific in a style. So I have to find a style and stick with it. So because I have to find a style, I have to start learning new skills. And this inevitably comes with endless reminders of how bad I am in my own skills and all the imperfections in my own skills as well. The fact that I will never be as good as my own expectation will land on me again and again every time I try to create art. And when this happens too much, I will face what I call an artist block. Then I won't be able to create any art and all I want to do is sleep all day again. And these are just the challenges we face as an artist. This does not include challenges that we face from daily life and other relationships in our lives. But I'm here to tell you that we can turn all the negativity into opportunities. Instead of running away from our emotion, we should dive into it. By diving into our negativity, we can feel the colors and the movement of our pain and suffering. We can turn our pain into inspiration for our storytelling when it comes our artworks concept and we can also visualize the brush strokes and the movement and the colors in our paint and reproduce them into our artwork because to me as an artist the worst thing is not failing the worst is to have no motivation and no inspiration so sometimes i feel so numb and i feel nothing and that is the worst place to be in because i don't feel inspired by anything and i don't feel like creating at all Tragedy is actually the best inspiration. Everybody can relate to tragedy. And there's always, always a fine line between being a failure and a success. Before you are successful, you are stepping on this very thin thread between failure and success. Because sometimes we feel that as long as we are not successful, we are considered a failure. But then that's not true. We are just on the brink of success. That does not mean that we are a failure. And do you know what an artwork without emotions are called? They're called decorations. Do you want to create art or decoration? So that is a question that you have to ask yourself every day. So if you want to create powerful artwork, you have to let yourself be submerged into your emotions, whether they are positive or negative and learn from them. Explore your own mind no matter how dark it is and turn it into inspiration for your artwork. It will bring you to places that is truly original and you will not ever ever need to copy other artists style anymore because you are truly you and you are unique and you are enough. Thank you guys so much for watching today's tutorial. It is an emotional and philosophical one. So in my next video, I will actually share my story as a child abuse victim. So it will not 
and it might not have any recorded video and it might just be full audio because I'm not sure if I can actually face the camera and talk about the story but I hope you guys will tune in for that one because it's an important part of my journey as an NFT artist. So I'll see you next time and subscribe to my channel. Bye!